Now I'll come back home. Everybody done they ask me, say, when you go give us JavaScript. Okay, now not the time. We don't they move into the JavaScript side where we don't they wait for since, right? I just get a few slides to give you a better understanding of what we're gonna do and what we're gonna see, make you know what we're gonna do in future videos for this our small JavaScript. But make you know say the topics we are gonna talk of now the like fundamentals, then be the beginning, then be the things we go help you first get started with JavaScript. And as time goes on, we're gonna move into more higher advanced topics and uh, we're gonna work with different parts of JavaScript as time goes on. So make we start today, look our slides. All right. So what's be JavaScript? JavaScript now, na scripting language and also programming language. We say now part of the technology we say we the use for internet. JavaScript it they work very well with HTML, CSS, and it they also work outside the scope because right now as a twenty twenty two, almost ninety eight percent of all the websites where you know they they use JavaScript for their client side and clients just me saying now like waiting your IDC now the end user so. They, they use like libraries, meaning they, they use different, different JavaScript codes joined together to make a library. And they, they use other people code. And you, if you use other people code, so that's how the whole JavaScript, they grow every time. Another thing where you need to know, we say JavaScript is not Java. Remember that JavaScript no be Java. The time where they make JavaScript, Java get more mouth, get more power, get more hype as JavaScript. So that time where they make JavaScript, they can say, ah, say what they go like do to make the name come shine. So as at that time, they can say, okay, since Java the hot, may they make um, JavaScript because normally the name is called ECMA script. Why you gonna need learn JavaScript? They get many advantages to why you gonna need learn JavaScript, but the first one, uh, besides job and money and all those things, the thing where I just list the things where I feel say could be very important for anybody to uh, who they consider learn JavaScript. You go feel use JavaScript alone to build your client side application, your client side of your application. I go feel use and build the server side of your application. Meaning, say if you use like uh, JavaScript for the front end, like vanilla JavaScript for the front end, or a framework JavaScript framework for the front end, like React, and then if you use something else for the back end for the server side, if you use Node, if you use Express. You you understand what I talk. So all these things you go feel use them for uh, JavaScript, and you're not gonna need use like Python or Ruby because you want to use create backend, or you're not gonna need change language and all those things. If you just stick to just one language, which is not JavaScript, and you are fine and you are good to go. Another one way, Dave say you get very large community. For this javascript ecosystem he big the community big if you get any question just right now for google the company community you will see community answers all over the place and people for the community then they're always willing to help so if you come the community then they're ready to help you and also the community we say that they build many third-party applications many third-party plugins because the community big tools the resources maybe they get onto say where they use javascript he big go so he plenty if you do anything we want because say nah javascript we they use and everybody love the language so many people they involved in um then why i also like uh, so here now the things where we go learn for this whole javascript uh series where we don't start so we go start first start to the look variables then we're going to look the constants and let keyword then we're going to work with operators arithmetics assignments data types strings scopes functions objects array maths and uh, we're going to work with comparison we're going to work with conditional statements if else we're going to also work with loops and classes and many many more but as time goes on we're going to introduce them small small but this year now the fundamentals we're going to need to know if you want to work with javascript no worry no let all these big big topics just make like say you don't know what they do no worry all these things they come with time all these things you go to learn them small small as you go to look every day you go to repeat them every day you go to dream them you go to see them your hand and then you go understand all these things where i they show you for here so before we begin, I would like to make you just know a few things about JavaScript. Make you just know, say, JavaScript was made by Brendan Eid, which was in 1995. The guy made that JavaScript. The guy sit down for a house. It take him like almost 10 days to make this JavaScript where they see. And since then, JavaScript don't they evolve. It don't they evolve. It don't they grow. It don't they grow like monkey. The human being, as evolution will say, it don't they grow. It don't they grow. And we form 97. We can't start the, we can't start the color ECMA script. Then um, ES1. And it don't they grow. It don't they grow. I think now there's about ES6, ES7, you know, all those things. But we will just start from ES5 for this video. And then we will start to learn about how we go use JavaScript. Because now, 
JavaScript day into all browsers. Before, if they use JavaScript for Windows, uh, for Chrome, now different JavaScript you could write for Internet Explorer, which now different JavaScript you could write for another browser and all those ones. But right now, all of them, they don't, they, they support each other. They don't, they connect to each other. They don't, they, and, and you feel right, one JavaScript code, you go, you go still do the same thing for another browser. Remember saying a client side with the talk of before? So you go feel do the same thing for another browser. And all these features where they don't do, where they don't use, make JavaScript strong now, now they make and they write many powerful applications all these things now they make javascript they work like for example this react native where i mentioned or react for the web or react for desktop all these things now i mentioned and there are no js and express and so what if you even use a make app for your mobile watch even all these things if you do with javascript but for now that's all we need to learn i will see you now for the next video thank you